what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you know one by chance? Yeah. Hundred bags in the lane. Do you have one by chance? Yeah. You see this ad man? Hey, hey. Northside coolin' shorty, yeah, that's where I stay. Heard you was a lame boy, get up out my face. And my ex keep callin', swear that she be in the way. And I need a thick red bone, shorty where I lay. Bad bit in LA, tell me I should now, make the trip. My, shorty awesome intro. my project is based on ocean acidification. Now you may be thinking to yourself, KS. Well, let me tell you. Okay. So now what ocean acidification is, is pretty much how the ocean is going from once a base to an acid. Now like most basic things with its Starbucks and dog filters, it's going to an 8.6 out of 10 because that's as high as basic things go. Now the ocean acidification process is it's slowly declining into an acid. So. It was once in the 18th century an 8.179, but now in the 1990s it went to an 8.1, to now present day an 8.069. Now you may be laughing at 69, but the re only real funny thing about it is the eight earth and ocean is the only thing getting effed at this point. Now the reason behind this being is carbon dioxide goes into the air and then it goes back down into the ocean and 25% of that is absorbed. That 25% of carbon dioxide is mostly from human creation. Like Isaac Newton once said, what goes up must come down. Hashtag Isaac Newton killing it, even now. But it wasn't Isaac Newton that discovered the ocean acidification rate. It was Caldera and Wicket. They discovered this in 2003. Now they said that the hydrogen bonds were getting a 29% increase. So they went from a 0.3 decline to 0.5. Now you may be thinking how that's not such a big number. What well, it actually is, because to go from an 8.1 to an 8.069 is such a big difference. Now the threats, what are the threats to us? Well you see the threats are it's hurting the marine life. You have metabolic rates lowering and squids. Bye bye Squidward. But not everyone is suffering. Unlike that selfish star, Patrick, the growth rates in starfish are increasing. Oh, oh boy, I'm the star now, SpongeBob. Yes, you are, Patrick. And for a good reason, too. Because of humans creating that carbon dioxide in the air. Now, you may be thinking that. It's not a big problem now, but it kind of is because not only are our fish being poisoned, but what that means is our commercial fishing will go down and so will sports fishing. And that's really bad, especially people like Dawson who love fishing. We need to like change our ways because, okay, not only will our fish die, but they'll be poisoned at first. And then people will eat those fish and they'll get poisoned and then they'll die. So the earth is pretty much attacking our food source to kill us off. Now look at this sad fish. You do not want to see a fish this sad, okay? Especially Dawson. Dawson loves his fish. Especially red snapper that he caught. So, I hope you learned something today about ocean acidification. And if you didn't, I hope you were thoroughly entertained. Because I know I was. So that's my project. Thank you. Wake me up inside. Wake up. Wake